Alright, welcome. Uh, in this video, I will show you a cheat table and also a trainer that I've written. Alright, so let me show you the trainer. This trainer was created from scratch and this is what it looks like. So I I created the trainer by using the form create here create form function to create this trainer right so the trainer has got one label and three buttons and to see the button handler just select the button go to events and on click click three dots here so this is the button handler we have uh, three global variables two objects and one boolean uh, variable we have a check process and attach process and we have three button handlers one two and three so when you click on this button it will trigger this button handler it will try to attach to the process by calling this this function if you manage to in this function you will take the name of the process and then convert into a string then it will try to open it and here we try to get the ID from the open process if it succeeds we get back a value if it fails we get back a nil and then here we test whether or not it's a nil if it's a nil we return false if it's uh, not a nil then we return true so in here you will check the return value if it's true then you will set this label the caption to attach to crack 9 if it returns false then here you will set the caption to unable to attach so once it's attached you can click enable so when you click enable you will also go through the checking process you will check whether the crack 9 is uh, attached by using this function which is over here so this function will receive the name of the crack me crack me 9 and then it will convert it to a string it try to get the process id from that string and it checks whether or not you manage to get it over here it compares if you manage to get the process id uh, and if it's similar to the one that is currently open then it returns true otherwise it returns false so if it returns false it will print uh, the message not attach and then it will show you a dialog please attach to crack me 9 first but if it's uh, returns true then it will come to this part and then it will get the address list this address list is your cheat table here you might you might have more than one so in this case i only have one so you get the address list from here And once it's got the address list, he want to look for this particular address, this uh, record, right? The whole thing is called address list, and each of this in address list is called a record. So I want to get this particular record, so I use this function, get memory record by description, and I pass it the name. So the name here is JMP, not AOB. AOB. So if you manage to get it, you return to this variable and then I can set it active true. And also set this uh, global variable is script activated, which is this one to true. Alright. And then after that uh, the script is uh, enabled. Now if I want to disable the script, I will click on the disable button and then when the disable button is clicked, uh, it will activate trigger this button handler this button handler will again check process to see whether the, it is attached to the crack me 9 if it is attached if it is not attached it will return it won't go on if it is attached then it will come it to this part and then this part here it will check whether the script is activated by comparing with this global variable so if it is attached <coughs> it's true then you set it to false then you show the message dialog script activated but let's say the script was previously not activated 
then this will be false it will come here and say uh, show a dialog saying screen was not activated all right so after building this uh, I get a let me let us run it now and see how it works so I've got my crack me line open and I'm going to run uh, the trainer that I created is the one there you go alright so now if I try to enable he says alright let's try that again one more time Okay, if I try to enable, alright, there's an error there. So attach. Alright, now it's activated. Alright, I think there's an error that I need to correct. So to fix that error, let us go back here and load. Load um, the table. <coughs> and then load the form now we edit the script ok so I think there's a problem here somewhere correct me 9 alright seems correct so what I'll do is I will regenerate uh, the trainer so I click generate trainer but first I attach the process give the name of the process which is correct me 9 you see so oh right uh, previous trainer okay so now I go and try it again So I close this I try to enable it says please attach first alright so now if I try to attach unable to attach because crack me 9 is not running so now I run, run crack me 9 and now I attach it says attach to crack me 9 so if I click check wrong key if I enable the script, it says script activated. Now I check, got a key. If I disable the script, I click check, wrong, wrong key. Alright, so this is how this uh, trainer is uh, uh, used and created. Uh, if you like this, remember to like, uh, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.